Well, I'm Sharifi Hamdan. I'm Singaporean. I've been in Qatar for 12 years. I personally enjoy being in Qatar more than I'm in Singapore. Um, and um, I really appreciate the small and big things that I see experience in Qatar. <laughs> Okay, so this company Daya has been founded by my father in 1986 in Singapore and uh, one of his business direction was always to look at developing countries um, where he'll be able to utilize uh, the expertise that he has. So back then, um, in fact even before the World Cup was awarded to Qatar, um, Daya moved to Qatar maybe 12 years ago, 13 years ago. So. That was the background. Back then, I was still um, one of the advice that he shared to me was uh, to go out and work for others, so that I'll be able to experience how's the lifestyle before going into the comp going into his company. And um, it is a very funny story how I came to Qatar. Um, I was working for this company, architecture company. I didn't like it. It was very stressful. Going home at three a.m. for maybe twenty days a week, a uh, twenty days a month quite challenging and I just said no I don't want to do architecture yeah. so from background I got a call I told my mom that 15 10 10 15 minutes later I got a call from my father and he said hey I didn't pay for your architecture school for you to just stop school so it's not uh, it's not a very inspiring story but back since coming here I realized that that was um, I was appreciative of that and um, I'm able to develop my own personal I'll say soft skills um, to be able to manage a company like Daya right now. Yes, uh, one of the biggest challenge uh, when I was here during the realization of the company, uh, I was there in the initial part. It was quite challenging because um, everything was done over the counter, and um, that was one of yeah. It was a very very difficult process for, uh, for example, setting up the company and putting up the name for Daya. For for example, I understand the last time the reason was they would type Daya, and then they see what's the meaning, and I said there's no meaning for Daya, and it was quite challenging. But I understand now. Uh, since then. Qatar has changed and um, everything is done online. There's no more queuing. Uh, there's no more waiting. Uh, everything is clear. Uh, everything is straightforward. And this is something I always say many business owner will appreciate because everything is set in stone. And um, another aspect that I feel Qatar has is meritocracy. Yeah. So uh, meritocracy is if you no. Know, you are awarded a role, a project based on the ability and skills and um, that is very prominent in most of the business dealings here. Of course, connection and relationship counts, uh, that's equally as important but the ability to do good work is more important than most and this is the development that I see, uh, I see that has changed within my 12 period here in Qatar. So, um, that's why I think Qatar is, I would say, it's competing with Singapore as my first home. Yeah. Uh, I see Singapore, I, I see Qatar as well. When I go into Singapore, it's like, I miss you Qatar. Like <laughs> yes, yeah. I feel like a foreigner in, in, in Singapore as a Singaporean. And uh, really apart from the business aspect, uh, even the social, social aspect, uh, I give you an example, healthcare. Healthcare as a Singaporean, I get better. No, I won't. Uh, I I will get affordable healthcare here in Qatar than I do in Singapore, and this is something that I do have to give credit 
and this is not said uh, among the community because I know Qatar face uh, a lot of backlash and don't worry I'm one of that guy who will stand in front of Qatar and and prove them wrong so that's me um, calling Qatar I would say as a home so what happened for Daya a bit of background about Daya Daya is uh, well is is a, combi a combination of two names uh, Daya Da is Hamdan Hamdan is Daya and Yahya is my uncle so they used to be the founders of Daya and um, that's how Daya started and in fact in my language which is Malay Daya means strive, effort, try and um, energy so that's that's the dynamics of Daya and um, a bit of background on how Daya, Daya is I would say different from our competitors is that it was more of an accidental reaction and the accidental reaction came from two difficult times in Qatar um, which I feel many other businessmen will validate me number one is the embargo and number two is the COVID and that was a very challenging period for I say everyone you have uh, projects that were put on hold there was nothing or very few things that is out in the market there was a lot of uncertainties and um, I can share with you a, back, a bit of background about uh, comparing Daya in Sri Lanka versus Daya in Qatar we were able to sustain um, that that push and uh, that push being able to survive in fact in Sri Lanka there was uncertainties in uh, the government and one thing that we had for Qatar is the government went one step forward and put give assurance to businesses how they do it they do it from the top and this somehow goes down to a small medium enterprise company like us where we know there is confidence um, how Daya is different is that when I say this is that we know that we need we needed to pivot we needed to be different uh, from our competitors you know fit out we do interior design fit out and since COVID, we do branding also. So it's more of a, a strategy exercise because uh, from a client's point of view, uh, from a client point of view, it is easier for us to engage with a client from branding. Branding usually costs around 20 to 50,000 kata real, where else a fit out can be between 1 million to 5 million kata real. So uh, we help client from the aspect of branding interior design and um, and uh, construction so we have a client from a digital realm and a physical realm so this is two areas that is very important in a business uh, one of Daya's secrets is that uh, about how we differentiate ourselves against our competitors as an interior design fit out and branding company is that we use user experience uh, to help develop the design so let me give you context before when i meet a potential client um the first, one of the first thing that we do any any of us will do we will do we will spend 30 minutes to do a lean business plan with you we try to understand what's your revenue model what is your uh what's who are your competitors how do you differentiate yourself against the others um what is your unique selling point and by doing that we understand how you may want to differentiate yourself against your competitors and that's why you're engaging Daya because you are probably spending $10 uh, to, for Daya to do something for you and we want to help you achieve that and multiply that by 10 times, by 100 times inshallah it don't have to be immediate, it don't have to be on this phase but it can be 2 years, 3 years, 4 engagement, 5 engagement from now but that's how we are different and that's how we differentiate ourselves against our competitors. Um, one of the past for the past two years, uh, it was in a con in consideration to think about creating a manufacturing plant, uh, which is to create a factory for our carpentry to support uh, our our production within Qatar, within GCC and even in uh, South Asia and one of the struggle was of course to look at different countries uh, in Qatar I mean different countries in GCC yeah. 
you have Dubai, you have uh, you have UAE, you have Oman. Uh, but in fact, one of uh, the main key thing that we chose, we chose to have it here. So recently, we have uh, we have increased our capacity for carpentry, and with the main intention of um, main intention of having this to support uh, most of the operations in the other countries. And um, this is this is one area that we are trying to improve. I think uh, there is there, there are initiatives such as, for example, Qatar. Uh, uh, Qatar, no, Qatar, not Qatar, free zone. Yeah, Qatar, sorry, Qatar, free zone, QFZ. Uh, QFZ is definitely one initiative that business owners is like, hmm, this is real. Uh, this is something that Qatar really wants to support, which is the, their own, manu I mean, cut our own manufacturing uh, area, which is, of course, uh, at the moment now still lacking, but this is the future. And this is some of our... Um, this is one of the areas that uh, we have entrusted Qatar. We have put our money here and say, okay, we are gonna we are gonna stay and we're gonna be here for a long run. In terms of uh, our business direction, one area that we are looking at is uh, to target hotels. Uh, one of the one of the one of our up, one and our upcoming project is for intercontinental hotel. It's not in Qatar, uh, but this is one of the areas. Yes, we are in conversation with. I think two hotel owners, eh? two hotel owners uh, here, and uh, this is I would say those the left not leftovers uh, but those who weren't able to complete the project by cut by uh, by the World Cup, and this is the trickling effect that Alhamdulillah I think because of the investment investment and when I say time investment of being in Qatar relationship investment, and this is coming to fruition and inshallah I am. I am confident that um, the business will continue to thrive, and yeah, and we can take a long. Kata, Kata is now known in the market. I don't have to say to my friends now, or in Singapore, or in any other country, where's Kata? Uh, where's Kata? I don't know where's Kata. You have to say Dubai. Yeah. Now, you can say it's Kata. So yes. that is the difference Especially in change. Yes. That is the change. I think it's not only Qatar uh, FIFA World Cup, but it it is the political influence that Qatar brings to the rest of the world, and uh, Qatar being a referee for uh, for Afghanistan, uh, Taliban, and the US. I think that also brings a lot of um, brings a lot of good uh, publicity and uh, good media. And for us as businessmen, it helps. It helps also because it gives it gives um, it gives. What's it called? Um, trust, or it gives, it gives trust uh, to say that hey, you are based in Qatar, then you are we attached hope, to it. I like to express my gratitude and my appreciation, um, appreciation for creating a environment that is helpful. No, that is helpful. That is bustling. Uh, that is fair for businesses to thrive and uh, for businesses to have the confidence to proceed forward. And uh, I'm one of the. I think one of the one of as for me as a foreigner coming in here, uh, it was really during that embargo that I do see, I do see a good leader, uh, and and I understood, uh, I understood that yes, uh, he is someone uh, whom 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 will lead this country to to greatness, inshallah. Number one, um, in regards to Daya, I would like to say thank you to all my staff. I think I've seen the commitment, the drive, the loyalty um, uh, during the thick and the thin. Uh, and I appreciate the effort uh, for that. And again, I will continue to make sure that as much as they value add to Daya, Daya will try to value add to them. And from a personal level, 
of course number one is my father uh, he showed tough love but I understand his wisdom and uh, without the unwavering support of my family uh, my mother my wife and the rest of my brothers huh? so um, that's that's the thing that I'm thankful for and thank you